Good morning. Well, we're here at the Gulf Coast uh, Big Rig Truck Show. This is day two, Saturday, and there's lots of great trucks in here, and this is one of them. Mr. Michael, uh, how are you today? I'm doing fine, and you too, sir. And, you know, and obviously I, I address you by Michael, but what's your full name? Michael Olivia, St. Martinville, Louisiana. Great. Tell us about this truck that we're standing in the front of. This one here is a 2019. I bought it in May of 2020. Uh, it's, I've stretched it out. We've done frame paint on it, added rear fenders, new tires and rims, changed out the motor. Uh, I like the interior. It's pretty much basic, so I haven't really done much to the interior. Uh, a lot of color matching on the motor and some suspension parts, things like that. You, you got the hood up here. The engine looks really, really great. Tell us about what you've done to this engine here. This one here is a C18 built from scratch. Started with a bare block. Every component, every nut, bolt, and washer is brand new on it. Say brand new, it has roughly 30,000 miles on it since we built it. Uh, and we've done a lot of color matching to it. Uh, paint work was very tedious and it, it, it doesn't hold up as well as you would like it to hold up, but it gets used. I mean, the truck's got, like I said, right at 30,000 miles in the last month and a half. It's built up to C18 specs. When we first put it together, it was pushing roughly 1,000 horsepower. No, I'm sorry, roughly 1,400 horsepower. We cut it back 400 horsepower. It's still producing right at 1,000 horsepower and about 2,600 foot-pounds of torque. It will pull a house like it's nothing. i tell you what, it sounds like that. Now, uh, the other day when we were headed here, you were in that convoy of some of the guys that were coming to the show. Yes, sir. And you're the last one to come out of that that uh, welcome center. Yes, sir. And I, I look to the left to see if there's any traffic coming. You had already turned, and I look to the right. You're getting on it. You're just tailing down the road. So uh, this thing certainly does haul the mail, huh? It hold, yeah. It it jumps. I think in about a quarter of a mile, I was over about 95 miles an hour. I don't know if we can put that on the. You're 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 at you're at 59 miles per 59 hour. 59 miles. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> um, I have not hooked anything to it yet that I have filmed. Um, I pull I pull reefers with it. I pull step decks. I pull RGNs with it. I have put uh, I haven't put real heavy heavy weight behind it. I've grossed 86, 87 thousand pounds, and it feels like it's empty. It, it is by far the strongest engine I've ever had. Tell us what you, what motors you had before and, and why do this one. I've had two, six, two C16s in the past, beautiful motors. Uh, my last truck had an ISX. It was pushing about 800 horsepower. It, it's just something I wanted to do. I had the money to do it. Um, I didn't, I didn't borrow, beg, borrow, or steal a dollar for it. it. It all came from money I had stored, and it's just something I wanted to do. How did you get into trucking? That started back in 84. My dad bought his first truck. It was an international cab over. And when he bought the truck, I was 11 years old. He bought the truck, and I had to maintenance the truck. Change tires, change brakes, change water, change the oil. And that, that got me into doing the, the maintenance and everything else. And when I became of age, I just I got my license. I drove for him for a very short period of time. Bought my first truck at 22 years old. When you got your first truck at 22, what did you do with it? What did I do with it? Yeah, first truck was an 89P, like I said, four and a quarter cat, manual, 15-speed transmission, wasn't fancy. But I had a contract with Tyson hauling fresh chickens on out to Denver or the West Coast, and I'd haul produce back into New Orleans. Wow, at, at 22 years 22 old, 22 huh? 22 years old, yep. I, I was the youngest guy that that broker at the time entrusted to haul for him. And my daddy hauled for him for several years, so. He knew me, he saw me grow up, you know, for 10 years. And he gave me a job, gave me a shot doing it. I thank him for it, you know, he, he got me got me started in this, and this is what brought me to where I am today. How many years have you been trucking for? Lord, how you want me to do math? Uh, let's see, 22, 47, 25, 25 years. Okay, that's great. Years. Yeah. So. Since I, no, 26 years, 25 on my, in my own truck. Going back to that age, what were some of the things that you really liked about trucking back then? Well, back in the day, more drivers talked to each other. Everybody was more friendly to each other. It's Now it's getting to be a job. Uh, it's nothing like it was 20 years ago. If somebody break down, everybody stopped to eat that five, six trucks on the side of the road to help him. Now somebody breaks down and you got 500 trucks that pass him and don't even ask if he needs help. Uh, back in the day, we, we kind of did what we wanted to do. Now, regulations are 
tightening down on us just like everything else, you know. So it's it's getting to be more of a job instead of an instead of an adventure. Being that my dad started it when I was only 11 years old, I'd spend the summers on the road with him. So I got to experience all the old. I'm not. You know, I'm 47, 48 years old. I got to experience some of the um, the old the trucking family. Yeah. You know. So. Out of all the things that you've done to this truck, what's the favorite? What's your favorite thing that you've done with this truck? The motor. Yeah. Building this motor from scratch, starting with a bare block, and and putting it together in my shop, and I didn't assemble it myself personally. I had a, a very good friend of mine who came in, and he assembled it, and uh, that that was the most gratifying part of the truck. Turning the key and hearing it run for the first time, yeah, yeah it, it, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. Did your heart skip a beat there, knowing that that was going to go into your uh, truck? No, my heart skipped a beat when you started turning it over, because you didn't know if it was going to start or not, or if you were going to throw a rod in the first oh, three boy. minutes of it. Once she ran for three to four minutes and she calmed down, she yeah, it's that was the best part of it. Pulling it out of the shop three or four weeks later was even better. That's when cool. they got to see the sun, you know. That's cool. Now I didn't ask you. Where do you go with the truck, and, and what are some of the things that you haul? You talked about a couple of things, but where do you go mostly? I run anywhere. If it pays, I'm going. Uh, I'll go to Canada. I'll go to Alaska. I'll go to Key West, Florida. I won't go into Mexico. It's a little bit too hard to go into Mexico. Uh, commodities we haul. We haul everything from um, we haul er everything from alligators to zoo animals. I mean, it literally. Um, I've been hauling alligators live alligators moving them like a cattle hauler moves cattle i've been hauling alligators for 22 years oh my That's, goodness that is my fallback freight it pays the best it, it gets me between florida and texas keeps me in louisiana a lot so we get we got to talk about hauling alligators so you gotta how does uh you know i'm from florida alligators are just you know almost an everyday occurrence in some cases and you're you're hauling them so how does that go I, I transport alligators like cattle haulers transport cattle. I move them from farm to farm or farm to processing place, processing house. And, I pick them up in Florida and I move them to Louisiana. I pick them up in Georgia and move them to Louisiana. I pick them up in Louisiana and move them to different farms in Florida. Interesting. So what kind of trailer do you use and what is that like when you show up? You know, Walk us through that. We haul them in 40 in 48 foot reefers. We keep them refrigerated. Um, alligators are a dormant animal, so the colder they are, the less they move. We cool them down to 60 or so degrees just to kind of make them enjoy the ride. And we haul them in bread crates. We will haul 2,500 alligators per load. Wait, how many? 2,500. <laughs> so you never, we never know when you when a truck passes you on the highway or you pass a truck. You never know what's in these trailers, but you got alligators. 2,500 alligators. If you see this truck in Florida pulling a reefer, it's got alligators on board. So if, um, if I see you in Florida uh, we, uh, and I have a camera with me, will you be able to open the door so I can get a, get a shot of that? Yeah, we just won't show you the truck. Okay. We'll show you the back of the trailer, but yes, sir, I will. Okay. <laughs> we, uh, I, I, yeah. I'm only one of very few licensed carriers in the state of Florida to haul live, to transport live alligators in such a large quantity. Uh -huh. uh, Florida is very strict on us. They, they make sure we have our, 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 our eyes dotted and our D's crossed. That's cool. Now, when it comes to custom parts, you know, whose bumpers or stacks or visors do you have on the truck? All right, the bumper is, a Ameri is an American Eagle, comes from Valley Chrome out of California. All of my engine components, my stainless steel piping and all of the stuff to switch it over from the previous ISX engine to this engine comes from uh, custom trucks out of Coons Bay, Oregon. Very good technical support guys. I, I couldn't, you, you pay a little bit more for their service, but it's well worth the money. They were with me every step of the way. If I had a question about something stupid, they made me feel like it was the most important question. They addressed it, we took care of it. Everything works. Um, outside air temperature works. Parameter works. Oil temperature gauge works. They work. They, they were by far. They got this. They helped me technically get this truck up into the best possible shape that it can could be in. I would say it's in better shape now than when it was built off the factory assembly line. That's great. Um, as far as for the rims, we switched it over to the new style Kenworth rims with, with tall rubber. I run strictly Michelin's mm -hmm. on my truck. What but about pipes? Whose pipes do you have? Factory Kenworths. I like the look of the factory Kenworths. I, I don't, I, I like on a Peterbilt, 
And on the flat tops, I really like the, the straight pipes. On these stand-ups, I like the, the factory shrouds and the, and the coverings. Okay. So, and, and what do you got back there on the, for fenders? Back there on the uh, fenders on the back, we custom painted them. Local paint and body shop in St. Martinville did it. Uh, they're WTIs. I will run nothing but WTIs. I've put them through the ringer, and they've stood with me every step of the way. That's cool. I run all Phoenix lights because they're the clearest light. I run a Tri-Pack Evolution Thermal Pink. Don't recommend anybody not running them because it saves on the engine hours and it's it's well worth the money. That's cool. Now let me ask you, is this your first time here at, at the show? Gulf Coast, yes, this is my first time here. Um, I've only been to one other show and it wasn't been, it wasn't much of a I don't know if you call it a truck show and as per se as this is a truck show. I've been up to the Joplin uh, Chrome Shop show and it was in a different truck, not not anywhere that this standard that this thing is. And I enjoyed it. Uh, I've met some very nice people at this show. I don't think it'll be my last. Uh, might go to one in two weeks because everybody here seems to be that old time family. Oriented. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, um, what have you enjoyed so far about this show here? Meeting the people, yeah, seeing yeah. their trucks, seeing other trucks. I personally don't think this truck is up to par. I have a truck right across from me that I fell in love with. It's uh, He's from your neck of the woods, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Bubba down from Florida. Yeah. Real nice guy. Uh, I think his truck outshines this truck. Yeah. And he thinks this truck outshines it. He thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> so I think we both fit together. I think we both crazy. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's been a good time chatting with you, Michael. Yes, and th sir. thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. No problem, sir. Thank you for doing what you do. You are.